Coming up next week, cybersecurity, piracy in Africa, TTIP and Ukraine. Welcome to the agenda. Was North Korea really behind the hack on Sony? And did a security fall lead to Apple's iCloud getting hacked by China? As cyber attacks become all the more sophisticated, Europe is trying to find ways to best protect itself. A pan-European cybersecurity directive is in the pipeline, but has had a tepid response in some member states because it would drive up costs. Google, Apple and Facebook, big companies opposing it. All eyes on the director of the European Network and Information Security Agency as he pops into the parliament on Monday. Over to another kind of pirate, and no, I don't mean Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Some years back, the choppy waters off the Somalian coast were a piracy hotbed with daily attacks. As the waters there have stilled, Western Africa has now been past the poison chalice, with countries looking again to Europe for help. A discussion is set for Tuesday at a meeting of the Security and Defence Committee. Bringing Ukraine closer to Europe and from the clutches of Russian dominance, it's got a whole lot more expensive. The EU is set to step up its assistance to the fallen country to the tune of 1.8 billion euros. The aim is to boost the economy while strengthening democracy and rule of law. On Thursday, the International Trade Committee will vote on the package. Displaced, vulnerable and destitute. In Lebanon, tents pepper some of its poorest neighbourhoods. Over a million stateless Syrians now call Lebanon home. With the country stretched, how can the international community best respond? The UN representative for Lebanon highlights the plights of refugees on Tuesday. As a group of MEPs hops across the pond to Washington DC, over at the Parliament, a debate with the Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmstrom on the controversial US trade deal. Will there be any bending of the will on the investor state dispute settlement mechanism that gives wide powers to corporations? Follow that debate on Wednesday. And finally, a band of MEPs are in Armenia on Monday for the latest Uranus interparliamentary meeting. And don't forget eCall, the in-car emergency system that dials out when you get into an accident, goes to a final vote on Wednesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.